Hey guys, how you doing? This is Marek from Epicode. Welcome to my channel. Previously we created BB-8 Droid component using React Native. This time we will add some cool animations to it. The droid will follow our touches and gestures. We will make it roll to the sides and move its head to change the direction it looks. Let's get started. Okay, so here's our code base. I used droid component from previous lesson, but I wrapped it with full screen container. This will be our pen handling area, so I made it full screen width and height, and it's green just to demonstrate. It takes the whole screen. Let's remove it. And I also added negative X translation to droid container, so center of body is located at the beginning of screen X axis. And thanks to that, we can change droid position relative to its center. So let's start with created animated value that will reflect exposition of our component on the screen. And it will be reference to new animated value. We will also store current value during animation in separate variable. To, to keep track of animated value changes, we need to add listener to it. Like this. And it is also a good practice to clean listener on component on mount. So let's return cleaning function and add empty dependency array. So this effect will run only on mount and unmount. Now, now let's create animating function. It will take destination x value and we will need distance. That is the difference between new x position and current x position. And if it's bigger than zero, that means Right will move right. And for animated, we will use animated decay, and it allows us to start animation at given velocity and slows down to zero with time. But also, velocity will be proportional to distance, so it will be faster for big distance and very slow for small ones. And let's try this animation. We can invoke it at the component mount in use effect with an example of 100 pixels. And I will add anima a wrap container, body container with animated view with transform translate x equal to animated x. I will refresh. And here it is. Droid moved a bit to the right as expected. So now let's create pan responder. I will use ref. Remember that we need to create pan responder just once and keep reference of it. And let's add required properties. First, on start should set pan responder, on move should set pan responder. Those two properties indicate that on each touch or move, our view will become pan responder. And callback functions on pan responder grant, it will be invoked on screen touch. And we will use move to with gesture x0. And similar on pan responder move, so it will happen when we drag our finger on the screen. And this time we will move to gesture move x. So I can attach current value of pan responder to full screen container like this. Save it. And here it is. Droid follows my drag on the screen. 
So now let's interpolate animated exposition to reflect body rotation. Let's start with output values in this case, which are rotation degrees from 0 to 360, which is full circle rotation, and input distance from the 0 to circle circumference, which is body multiplied by P. And let's use this rotation with animated view that will wrap body component. Rotate and let's try it. Here it is. Rolls pretty smooth. Pretty smoothly. Now we can add head movement. It will have two states, left and right, and we will pass current direction in head component property. So let's create a state value that will be passed to head, and also reference is right value, so we'll compare it inside of animating function, so the state will be updated only when it changes. So when move right is changed, we can set the state and current reference value and let's pass it to head component. Okay, so now head. Let's use our look right property which is true by default and animated value that will reflect the direction. It will be only 0 and 1. So 0 means look right is true. And let's add look animation function that will take this is right boolean value and it will be simple animated timing with duration of 300. Okay. So we want to animate this when look right property changes. So let's create an effect for this and look right inside of dependency array. So this will invoke when look right changes. Now we will need interpolations to reflect parts of the head that will move when animated value changes. When animated value will change to one, ace and bottom stripes will move left. So we will need negative x-axis translations in this case and antennas container will move the opposite direction. So let's create an interpolation. I'll call it negative position. This will be for eyes and stripes. And input range is 0 and 1. And the output is from 0 to minus head width. So we'll move it about 35%. Oh, I forgot to start animation. And now we can wrap eyes with. And now we can add style with transformation to eyes component. And let's make it animated view instead of regular one. Here it is. We can use styled and pass animated view instead of regular view and it will work. And here it is. Eyes move as expected. So let's add the same interpolation to stripe details. Transform translate X and use negative position. And also we will need to update stripes component. Oh, it extends stripes. So let's create 
additional stripe animated component that will use stripe styles but <coughs> it will use different base component you can do that with styled with component and here it is but when draw it looks left right part of stripes is empty so let's add some extra stripes to it so details will be wider and uh, let's make right side also wider and now I can add some extra stripes to it here's right side let's add with some different order and yeah here it is so now antennas and antennas container will move the opposite direction to i so instead of creating new interpolation we will revert value of negative position to positive we can use animated multiply and multiply that negative position interpolation by minus one to invert the value and let's add this to antennas container translate x with positive uh, position and we will also need to update antennas container to be a, an animated view refresh it and it should work so here's our final result draw it rolls when it, i touch or drag screen of the simulator animation is, animation is pretty smooth and satisfying so i can play with it i will rotate i will rotate simulator to get the bigger movement area and it works as expected and if you like you can also play with droid speed by experimenting with velocity value in animated decay I hope you liked final result and present techniques will be useful for you. As usual, you can find final code in GitHub repository linked in the video description. If you'd like to see more content like this or you have any question, please leave me a comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.